ask me this is the work of the devil right here this is evil you can't take away the Home Depot hot dog it is oh my god this is the end of times okay we go downhill from here man <laughs> hey I, I'm, I'm someone that actually probably went to Home Depot just to get a hot dog and I didn't buy anything from Home Depot so yeah that's me I'm a foodie at heart but the thing is when I was building my house I ate this so much Keen and I joked about this in another episode where it said each hot dog you eat um, takes off 34 or 36 minutes of your life or something and I was like oh shit peace out I'm done <laughs> like, I got about my time's up I got about two hours left because you know where I grew up we ate nothing but you know, nitrates and, and case meats and all that good stuff because it was cheap and, you know, how many hot dogs I ate while building my house kind of racked up too. Kane did the math really fast and he's like, ah, oh, it only took four years off your life. And I'm like, well, shit, that's worth it. <laughs> like, that wasn't bad. But uh, it sucks because I think a lot of contractors, this was their quick lunch spot. You were busy, you were at the Home Depot at lunchtime. As you're walking out the door, you got a couple hot dogs, a Coke, bag of chips. It was cheap, and you were back in the car eating while you drive. You know, you had to tie up a half an hour driving to a restaurant, um, sitting in a drive through window and all that crap. Really quick, really simple, real easy. It was good food, if you like hot dogs. Uh, I think they used to serve Kogel's, which was a Michigan-based company. is a Michigan-based company. So, really cool quick and easy for contractors, people working on their homes, they don't want to invest a bunch of time in lunch, on the go. And they're like a small business owner, right? It's a it's a kind of a fixed food truck at the end of the day. It's a hot dog cart, hot, hot dog stand. So it's like, all right, you know, now you got another business owner out, less convenience for the customer. No, Nobody wins here right now. But I was trying to figure out how do you make this a win? And I understand with COVID, you had less people going inside the store, way more on, online sales and curbside. I'm someone that does curbside just because I'm trying to stay away from everybody. Um, I, I, uh, if I can get a curbside or carry out, that's what I do. I don't go inside. If I don't go inside, I'm not going to the hot dog cart so I can see where it hurts your business. So where, where's there new opportunities, my thought? Put a goddamn food truck out in the parking lot. It's You could get the contractors who are going inside you could get the people who are doing curbside um, and you could get the traffic that's just driving by. So granted, I was the oddball, not the oddball, I knew some other people that go to Home Depot just to get a hot dog. I knew someone that like would stop there to take his kids there for dinner, like if they're at the circus. I'm not the only one. Probably not a lot of people did that though. But if you had a food truck where it could be seen from the road, if you had a taco truck out there, you know, you all know that's my favorite. Um, sliders, anything that's out there where you could get the contractors, you could get the curbside and the drive-by traffic. Maybe that's one way where we could revive these small businesses and maybe even make more money because I think you would have, um, have a little bit higher ticket price, which sucks, but possibly more profit and then a lot more traffic. A lot easier also to you know, jump on social media and really promote that. It's hard to get people to like come in inside a Home Depot to get a hot dog. Could you, you know, say, hey, my food truck's going to be outside Home Depot from noon to four at, at this location right now. And then, you know, maybe you get a whole group of food trucks and they just rotate around to the different Home Depots. Possible opportunity here. One door closes, another one opens. Not a lot of places to get drive through hot dogs. Um, not around here anyways. So I think, you know, everyone was about that Costco hot dog, right? Is it $1.50? I'm guessing it still is. I don't go to Costco. But I'm not driving like 20 minutes out of my way to get a $1.50 hot dog. That was the convenience of Home Depot. I can go get the stuff I need for my project. I got a busy day. And I don't want to take an hour out of my day for lunch. Grab a couple dogs, grab a Coke, and I'm out. So, unfortunate to see that go away. Sucks for the small business owner. But if you're a small business owner right now, could, could you parlay that into something else and work out a deal with, you know, Home Depot and say, let me put a food truck outside, 
it, it obviously benefits me, but it's going to benefit you as well. It makes it easier for your customers, possibly bring more traffic onto your site. Um, and then you get people thinking, hey, I'm going to stop by the taco truck. I need to run and get some light bulbs really fast. I need a bag of fertilizer. I need a bag of mulch. Maybe you, you know, a uh, convenience store theory at a gas station. You, you get them there for the gas and then you, you sell them Gatorades and that type of stuff. So, uh, possible win-win all the way around. Anyways, that's my business idea of the day. On top of, just kind of said that Michigan, I can't get a goddamn hot dog no more. This evil. This is some evil shit going on right now. Um, I'm curious, if you're outside Michigan and your Home Depot has food or hot dogs still, drop a comment. Is this just a Michigan thing or have they shut down everywhere? I don't know. I, I've never seen them at like Lowe's or Menards. Um, there's always Home Depot here that had it. So I don't know, maybe in Nebraska Home Depot, you never even knew they had hot dogs at Home Depot. Maybe, maybe they sell sandwiches. I don't know. Either way, drop a comment. Let me know. That's all I got for uh, this one. I'm going to catch you.